Yeah, we is back. Happy Monday. And Fun's back with me. So today for his lunch, he's actually bringing his new uh, Minecraft lunchbox. But for lunch, I decided to make him tortillas. I just made these fresh this morning. Heated those up, cut up him some tortillas. He loved tortillas. We got little steak bites here. My piss thing off. We have little steak bites to go with his tortillas. Uh, chocolate, triple chocolate muffin. His tea here. And for snack, we have a high C. And we have like a trail mix that I made with marshmallows, m and m and then a couple of oranges over there. This is his lunch and snack today. And he actually already ate breakfast. He had some cereal over there and some fruit. And he took, of course, his vitamins. Let's get packed up and get up out of here. Can you please catch your breath and quit running? This is how you catch your breath? Is this your zen move? Yes. This is your zen move. Oh, oh my goodness. You got it? <laughs> I can't get it no more. You can't get it no more? Okay. All right, we got to finish eating. Are you feeling a little bit okay? Yes. You want to take a bath? No. No? You want to take a shower? No. Okay. I'm going to take a bath. Bath. All right, we're going to bed early tonight because you were cranky this morning. <coughs> See, look at that cough right there. I'm going to give you some medicine too tonight. Okay? Really? Today, happy Tuesday. Today we have for lunch, we have tortillas again, but inside the tortillas today is turkey. We have some turkey lunch meat, some corn, chocolate muffin he really liked yesterday. We have his tea with some vitamin C in there. And for snack, we have applesauce and two Oreo cookies and a high C. This is what's for today for lunch and snack. He's a little cranky today, doesn't want to go to school, but we're going to cheer him up. Alrighty, y'all. Let's see what all Junior ate from the turkey tortillas. Let's see if he did good today. We have a new little lunch pack that he's bringing right now. Um, just while he is um, bringing his smaller lunch pail, he wanted to use his Minecraft. He absolutely loves some Minecraft. So let's see what the lunch looks like. So... Let's see if the spoon was used. I should have set y'all up. Okay, y'all. So with his meal, he only huh, he only ate half of a tortilla one, one whole one and half one. He still has all this left. He still has corn left too. He had half his muffin. So I'm gonna let him go ahead and eat this muffin and throw the rest away. I'm not sure why he didn't have a good day eating today because he actually likes the tortilla. So, Bubba, why you didn't eat all your food? It looks like you used it. You guys chew quickly. Okay, let's check his applesauce. Okay, he ate half the applesauce and he ate half of a cookie. So, still some applesauce left, so he ate half of it. He's gonna have to have a better day eating tomorrow. That's probably why he was so hungry today. And he ate um, one of these sweets and stuff, and he ate all that. You want your muffin now? Yes. Okay, come eat the rest of the muffin. You can't eat the rest. All right, so we're going to wash this. And we're about to make dinner, y'all. We are making some chicken here. I'm going to cut this up and make some chunks of fried chicken uh, for tonight. So we're going to fry that up right quick and have that tonight. And then we'll see how he does tomorrow. But this is lunch. I'm going to have to I'm think I'm going to make him a pizza tomorrow. Um, the tortillas was actually good because I ate some for lunch, so I don't know why he didn't eat them all, but we don't have to figure it out. But I'm kind of tired, but we're gonna make this. Part. Hey guys, we're back. We have Bun Jr.'s lunch. He's having pizza today, two vanilla Oreo cookies, some Doritos, and for sack, some marshmallows, and some goldfish, and a juice box, and of course, this tea with some vitamin T. See y'all. Happy Wednesday. Look at that lunch, it looks great. How you, you like your outfit? You with your short shirt. You look so handsome. You ready to go? Ready to go? Yes. 
all right y'all we are sitting here in the mcdonald's line and um i should be sitting here going through what all junior ate today this wednesday what he didn't eat what was left but i am Mom, feeling so fine. under the weather okay he, he back that pussy i my temperature is like 100 i was trying to make it work today i have th two more meetings tomorrow i have to be on then i can't take off till friday um i would say forget it my health is more important i'm not feeling good my face is hot i'm not feeling well and i just don't go but i have to be in these meetings and since i work from home i'm kind of laid up with my laptop and then looking at so hopefully that works out anywho we sitting in the mcdonald's line because i don't feel well so we're gonna get some mcdonald's and um some for the kids to eat tonight so that they can eat well but did y'all hear about all these divorces going right now? Girl, Tia. Tia and Corey are getting divorced. Tom Brady and Giselle. And um, who's the other one? Giselle and Tom Brady. Sorry, Giselle and Tom Brady, excuse me, because she is a supermodel. She is important. And who else? Um, Miguel and his wife and somebody else. But anyway, Tia is in my time frame. And they trying to make it seem like he may have cheated, but he's talking about his lies or whatever. I don't know what happened. But just because everything looked like peaches and creams on, on the internet and on social media, you never know what's going on in somebody's house. And that's crazy. But I do want, I'd rather her be happy and stuff. And that's why I was thinking about that too. Like, we, life is short. We Why stay in a marriage or saying something you're not happy i know that they're gonna have split and they have the kids and maybe some money in the house and all that's involved but they was together what 14 years anyway and who knows what was going on behind closed doors and maybe she they was basically together all her young life so maybe she does need to get out there and um see what it is because i think she's 44 so they got together when she was 30 but right now, you know, the single thing and single women, they're thriving right now, working and just doing what they need to do to make them happy and not having to worry about um, being wrapped in a relationship. Some women are liking that right now, and that's that's Mom, what I'm liking it right now. So um, not having to worry about somebody um, answering to somebody or somebody being unhappy or somebody cheating or whatever just focusing on you until that right person comes back along again but i think she should take the time out i mean she's doing well she looks happier she looked like she was okay with it she said there was some sad stuff but they don't continue to be friends what's y'all thoughts but i thought that was interesting and uh tamara said they're gonna stand by the maris are standing by tia's decision to um divorce so i thought that was interesting too y'all remember the last thing that i saw Corey on was i think on the chi the shy Mom, i call it the chi the shy baby you gonna go to sleep when we get home but that was the uh -huh. last time we about to go home we're gonna get your food first but that was the last thing that i saw him on and um that part was even a little raunchy because he was messing with, messing with tiffany i don't know if y'all seen the the shy whatever um but she was he was tiffany's um weed guy or whatever he was or um distributor or whatever but then she ended up messing with, it was just it was just a lot there but we're gonna see what happened all those divorcing one the good thing about it is that he, since tia and several other people have divorced right now you ain't got to worry about them just honing in on your divorce because there's so many divorces at once <laughs> in one week of some high profile names um that you don't have to worry about all that but still tia is um on topic right now trending right now so we'll see i just want her to be happy she's in my age frame i actually i didn't know she was that much older than me she's about five years older than me but still i grew up watching her and her sister but anyway i'm rambling right now i'm sitting in the mcdonald's line i'm not feeling good i'm gonna close out um or what Junior had for lunch this week and what I made for him for Wednesday. And then I'll pick up for Thursday and Friday and I'll put that out there too. But been an okay week so far. A lot of escalations, a lot of irritability. I got online looking at other stuff I can do. But gosh, to not have to clock in every day and work for the man. That's just, just in the famous words of, uh, J. Kareem, it's just ghetto. <laughs> Having to work every day. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later.